Good evening, everyone. Feels a little bit weird to be doing a brunch demo at 7.30 at night, but welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Elise. I am one of our team leaders with Femme Mix based in Pakenham. Um, and I'm joined tonight by Chelsea and Tracy, who are out in Bunyip. Um, and we are here tonight to show you a little bit about what the Femme Mix PM6 can do. We're going to be taking you through the different modes that you have available on your TM6 and we are cooking brunch for dinner. Um, so a few things are happening tonight. We've got a very full class tonight, which is exciting, um, but we're going to be doing everything from poached eggs to homemade orange juice to turning that into a mimosa. Uh, we've got some waffles happening, some scones, lots going on tonight. So what I would love for you to do is let us know in the chat box. Um, what you are hoping to get out of tonight uh, and if you are a Thermomix owner already. So we are going to be teaming up the three of us tonight, um, but I'm going to pass you over to Chelsea. Chelsea, are you logged in with internet yet? We're having a few technical difficulties tonight. Just a few. Give me one second. <laughs> thinking. I'll add you in. It's always fun when this happens at like 20 past seven and we're like, ah, oh, all right. Always. All right. It's just still connecting, but that's fine. I can get started. Um, I'm not sure if, oh, there we go. All right. Hey, everyone. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chelsea, Thermomix consultant and team leader. I'm team leader of the Therminators, and we are based um, all around, but I live in Bunyip, and um, a lot of my consultants are in that, that kind of, you know, I'm heading towards Gippsland area, but we are. Australia, which is very cool as well. I am having some very serious issues tonight, um, but that's okay. We're just gonna give me one sec. I'm just gonna see if I can forget that and try again. Don't you love that? Love technology. Anyway, um, we are gonna get started with our flip chart. So we are running the mode demo, as Elise said tonight. Um, so we will be doing a little bit of our flip chart because we do have quite a lot of you that don't yet own a Thermomix on tonight. So there's some really great info to go through. So just to help us get to know you guys a little bit better, I would love if you could use the chat box here with us or if you are in a conversation with your consultant, if you could use the chat box over with them, that would be fabulous. Um, so Elise already asked you, you know, what, what it was that you were hoping to get out of tonight. Um, and then I would love to know, does anybody have any allergies tolerances if you do pop it in the chat here with us or with your consultant all right i will just keep moving through and you guys can just keep those answers coming um so this one here is our tm as i said i'm having some internet issues which is super fun uh, but our tm6 is our newest thermomix so our tm6 has been around for um just oh, probably just three years now i think it's just had its third birthday so about three years now and it really truly is our so this one connects up to your Wi-Fi if your internet's working. Don't live in Bunyip like I do and we have the world's worst internet. Um, but it connects up to you through to your internet and through your internet you can access our recipe platform Cookie Do. So Cookie Do has over 80,000 recipes from all around the world available at the touch of your fingers on the screen here and in an app and on the computer as well. And we will dive into Cookie Do a little bit later. Um, our TM6 also has this amazing page over here filled with modes. So we have over 20 different modes and functions in our TM6, and I know a lot of you came along tonight to learn a little bit more about those modes. Um, we will cover some of them tonight, but we do have things like built-in scales, a kneading mode, turbo. It has a self-clean function, which I love. We've got a blender, an egg boiler, kettle, a reheat mode, thicken, rice cooker, fermentation, slow cook, sous vide, and our amazing new peeler mode as well. One of the really I really love about our TM6 is it actually gets better with age. So through that Wi-Fi connection, you can actually um, download new cooking modes um, as they are released. So since our TM6 has come out, we have had six different cooking modes be released already. And I'm assuming that there will be more to come in the future, which is very cool. Um, now, to help us get to know you a little bit more, and again, use this chat box here with us, or you can pop this in the chat box with your consultant, we would love to know, when it comes to food and cooking in general, what is most important to you? So we have some answers here, like healthy, simple, fast, creative, or saving money. 
Which one of those really jumps out at you and which is the most important to you in your day-to-day cooking, um, eating, cooking, shopping, all those different things. Again, they were healthy, simple, fast, creative or saving money. Now, for those of you that said healthy, I'd love to dive a little bit deeper and know, like, what does healthy look like to you? You know, um, for me, healthy might be more, you know, more greens in my day-to-day diet, but it might be something different for you. So pop it in the chat and let us know, what does healthy look like for you? For those of you that said simple, what does simple look like for you? Fast, your ideal time spent cooking a meal. What's your ideal time spent in the kitchen when you're somebody who loves fast? Creative, what does creative look like? Are you somebody that loves to try new things? You know, what is it that creative is for you? And then saving money. If you were someone who said you'd like to save money, if we could, um, if you could give us a number, how much money would you like to save off your grocery bill each week? Pop it in the chat here with us or over with your consultant and let us know. Now on to our price page, the price of our TM6, two, three, five, nine, and it does include all those amazing accessories see here. Now this one here is our Varoma. This is our steaming attachment and we're not going to use this one tonight, but this one is one of my favorites and this is definitely included with your purchase. Some of the great things about the Varoma are that the Varoma more than doubles the capacity of your Thermomix, um, which is awesome and it is so versatile. So you can do things like um, veg, fish and veg, just veggies. You can do legs of lamb, corned beef, so things that can be quite dry in the oven can be really amazing cooked in your aroma. Um, you can even do things like steamed puddings, um, you know, breads and desserts and stuff as well. So it's very, very versatile. We've got our simmering baskets, flash guard, butterfly whisk, um, measuring cup, I forgot that was called for a minute, spatula, a hard copy of your basic book, and then you will get a six-month subscription to Cookie Do, which, again, we will talk about in a little bit. Now, we do have lots of different payment options to help you get a film bench if that is what you choose to do. And now my favourite is you can actually come and do what we do and you can earn yourself a Thermomix. I know this is something that, that not, not a lot of people are aware of, but it is a really amazing way to get a Thermomix on your bench. I have been lucky enough to earn five of these since I joined three and a half years ago, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, so it is a really great option. We do have a lot of fun along the way as well. And it can be something that you do for a little while or something that you might want to turn into a little bit more than that. Now, for anybody who does think that they might be interested in earning a Thermomix or coming on and doing what we do um, with your current Thermomix, we will be running a quick info session at the end of the cooking experience tonight. So you are welcome to stick around and find out a little bit more. It is totally obligation free. Um, now, we do have a couple of different options and another great one is our interest-free finance. So for just $24.56 a week, you can get a TM6 on your bed. So that's about $3.50 a day, which is much less than a cup of takeaway coffee. Which is We do have a couple of different payment options as well, but we are going to touch on them a little bit later because we are going to get straight into cooking. Um, someone's just asked if we're letting guests in. Elise and Tracy, are you on top of... Yeah, but there's, no one, there's no one in the rating room at the moment. Fabulous, thank you. Yeah. I just saw that pop up and thought I better yeah. check. <laughs> now, um, I am having some internet issues, as I said. Um, I am outside of my house and my wife really like it out here. So um, my first dish is going to be an orange juice. So I'm going to show you guys. We're focusing on a brunch demo. I'm going to show you how to fancy your pup your a little bit and make yourself a fresh OJ. Um, and I'm also going to turn it into a mimosa for those of you like me that like to start your Sunday off a little bit more fun. Um, so some of the benefits of our TM6 is that we can connect up to the Wi-Fi. Um, you can also cook manually as well. So this is a recipe that I have in, I have popped into my own cookie do. So with our new cookie do, you can add your own recipes, which is awesome. And I have done that but due to my Wi-Fi issues. Um, Jels, can I butt in really quickly? Oh. Do we want to? Do we want to flick Tracy first? Um, yeah, let's do that because I think if I switch <laughs> my thermos, I'm going to be all right. Okay, let's go over to Tracy first to do the scones. Awesome, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Let me replace you. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tracy. I'm also a team leader down in Bunyip, just up the down the road from Chelsea. Um, 
and I've just lost track of what I was saying because kids went past. Uh, yeah, so I've been a team leader for a year and a half. So I'm a bit of a baby of this group. Um, but yeah, welcome everyone. All right, so I'm getting into the cheese and bacon scones. Now I have made these before. When I first heard, I was sort of like, mm, but let me tell you, they are very delicious. So excited to be having these tonight at uh, nine o'clock or whatever. Um, all right, so I have actually, because Chelsea is unable to show you with her connection, I do have connection in Bunyip. Over here, we have some three little lines. It's this, this, and this is where it's going to show us um, what we've meal planned for the week. So I've popped in, so I'm just gonna click on my week and I've popped in the cheese and bacon scones. So I'm just gonna click on there. If I scroll down, it's gonna give me the difficulty, preparation time, total time, the serving size, got all the ingredients on the left, instructions on the right. For those of you who said, um, you know, health and calories, calorie counting, watching that kind of thing, if you're counting macros, you'll actually see a nutritional panel down the left to help you uh, keep track of all that. And then you also got the hints uh, and tricks section. Okay, so it just gives you different variations. All right, so always have a look at that for your recipe in case you are looking to do a bit of a variation. And then I'm just simply going to click on start cooking. So it's asking me to line a baking tray with some baking paper. So I'm actually using one of our thermo mats. It is on my bench currently. So I will show you that when we get to that and to preheat the oven. Now, guided cooking is just that. It is just a guide. Okay, it's not set in stone. You can still be as creative as you want, omit things, add things, all of that kind of thing. So I actually can't eat onion. All right. So I'm actually just going to skip this section that is telling me to add the onion in. All right. And then I'm going to add in 200 grams of bacon pieces. So I'm going to pop that in and you'll see the scales here on the left hand side. And it's just weighing that for me in one gram increments. So it's very precise. For those of you who do have a TM31 or a TM5, you'll find that they weigh in uh, five gram increments. So this one is a lot more precise. Now, it said 200, but I'm not gonna waste the bacon that I've got here. So I'm just popping it all in. Okay, so 230. And then I'm just gonna add some oil. So 20 grams of olive oil again. My scales are at zero, so I'm just gonna watch that. I'm not gonna put the whole amount in. I don't find that it needs it. And then I'm gonna click next again. So again, it's just giving us the instructions. I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's got a picture there of my lid. Okay, and it's saying, place your splash guard onto your mixing bowl lid. So this is our splash guard, is in it? is an accessory that comes with your Thermomix. And it essentially is just gonna stop that hot oil from splashing. So I'm gonna pop that on, click that I've done, done that. And then I'm just going to turn my dial because it said, turn your dial to start cooking. So these lines here are just explaining that we're using the high heat mode. Okay, so our high heat mode goes to 160 degrees. The other models only go to 120. So it's really gonna give that beautiful um, saute flavor if you've got onions, even more so. Um, and really, you know, like imagine how would you normally do your bacon? Okay, most of us would normally have to do it on a fry pan, the hot oil is splashing everywhere. So this is nice and clean and even better that I can walk away for those seven minutes. So people that said uh, time saving, saving time, what is it that you would do in those seven minutes? Let me know. Now, are we crossing back over to someone while that is cooking? Yeah, so while that's cooking, we're going to pass back over to Chels. Beautiful. So, all right, I'm back and I have internet. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, so I can go into the planner now. Um, now, if you do have an unstable Wi-Fi connection, you can um, bookmark recipes and create collections, which are available offline. Um, I thought I would have internet tonight, so I wasn't that prepared. So if you are someone who's sure about your Wi-Fi, there are definitely ways to get around that and still access our amazing guided cooking. So if I go into my week here, you can see I've got our recipes and here is our orange juice recipe. And as I said, this is one that I... Um, created and added into my own cookie do. So here's a photo. So when you 
your own recipes or when you import them over from cookie from the recipe community to cookie do um, they do look very similar it is just a um, more kind of pared down version of cookie do and the guided cooking so i'm going to hit start cooking and it says enjoy cooking your own recipe creation so it says add peel whole oranges into bowl and blend 30 seconds on speed six now, there is a cookie dew recipe for orange juice, but it does um, include water in it, and I don't like mine watered down. So this is just the way that I do it. So I've literally just cut the skin off these ones, and I am going to go in with four. Now, four oranges is probably going to give you um, like two to three big glasses of orange juice. If it's just you, you could just do two oranges, whatever works. So I'm literally going to just throw them in, and we're going to pop our lid on um, and go... 30 seconds, speed six. Here we have our guided cooking. Turning that dial around to number six. I'm not sure if you can still hear me, but I do have our great glide board under here, and I am able to move my thermomix around with ease. Wasn't sure if you could still hear me there. Um, so I'm just going to hit the X button. And we have blitzed that orange juice down perfectly. So those whole oranges have just been broken down really nicely. Um, if you're someone who likes your juices really sweet, you could add sugar in this step here. Um, I don't, so I don't add any sugar. Here I've got my thermo server. Now, for those of you that invited some guests along tonight, these are one of our amazing host rewards. Now, if you are wanting to get your hands on one, please reach out to your consultant and book your own cooking experience. Um, I am outside and I don't have a fridge out here. So this has just kept my ice nice and frozen. That's been in there for about half an hour and totally frozen still. So when I click next, it wants a large handful of ice and blend for one minute on speed nine. So totally up to you how much you want to do. I'm a wing it kind of cook. Hence, my recipe is a little bit of a wing it recipe. Now we've got one minute around speed nine. We're, now we're going to utilize the full power of our thermomix here to really blend this up. So you are going to be able to hear me for just a moment. So um, one of the girls might want to do a bit of talking and I'll see you in a minute. So I am going to um, jump in really quickly. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we have on offer at the moment, um, right now we actually have the beautiful choice of two gifts with purchase for you. So if you've been looking at a Thermomix and wondering if now is a good time to get started with one, if it's going to be something that's going to benefit your family, we actually have the ultimate what we call starter pack um, for you right now. So at the moment, our gift of purchase, as Chelsea mentioned before, is 18 months worth of cookie dough. So you're going to see cookie dough quite a lot tonight. Um, but of course, if you are host, if you're the host tonight, you do get access to our free black thermo server, which is amazing. So you're essentially getting two of the things that we think are the most valuable things to have with your thermomix up front there. Um, but we have just announced today what our next month's gift with purchase is going to be. And that's going to be a black oval thermo server and our flavors of India cookbook. So essentially, if you are interested in purchasing at the moment, you do get your choice as to which one is going to benefit you, benefit you the most. Um, so essentially, their crossover is going to be starting from tomorrow. So have a chat to your consultant about which option you think would be the most beneficial for you. And we'd love to help you get one. Chelsea, back to you. Thank you. Now, we have just made some smooth, creamy orange juice. No additives, no nasties, no sugars, nothing whatsoever, just fresh oranges. Now, if you're someone who likes to use a juicer, um, you may notice that you need a whole lot of fruit to juice. So this, um, because we are using the whole fruit, we aren't extracting it, which means we're going to um, waste a lot less fruit and we're also going to get a whole lot of nutrients that would normally be wasted when you are juicing. So... Here we have, look at that. Now I am going to top it off with some, I'll probably overdo it a little. I probably want more, more champagne to orange juice ratio. Your ratio top, is way out there. Way out. Top it right. off with some bubbles. And this is the perfect way to start 
your brunch. I bubbled over a little bit. I need some more still. <laughs> I feel like I got dibs. Why didn't I go with the mimosa? I know. This is, this is normally your thing. Terrible uh, idea. Yeah, but you could um, throw that champagne straight into the bowl if you wanted to and swirl it around, you know, on a low speed um, or you can just tip it into your glass like that. But there we have some beautiful fresh orange juice or mimosas. Um, Elise definitely would have done mostly champagne. You know her too well. Mm. Delish. Perfect at this time of the year as well um, because we know we are all very sick at the moment. Everywhere I go, everyone's sick. So perfect way to ward off those nasty colds. Um, you can do lots of different juice combos, whatever works for you, but definitely give that guys. It is so quick and easy and tastes amazing. And cheers. I will see you all soon. Love it. All right. We're going to go over to Tracy to finish off those scones. All right. So I was just reading the chat box. So many things that people would be doing. Ironing clothes, sitting and reading a book, bathing the kids, starting bedtime um, routine. Absolutely amazing. So you've missed my steam coming out here to see the high heat, but when I take it off, you might see it. I'm going to show you there. Okay, so we've got some beautiful caramelising happening on the bottom of my bowl. So just like you would on a fry pan, okay? So I'm just going to stir that around and get some of that all infused there into my bacon. Smells delicious. Then I'm going to click next. So it did say I'm a step ahead. Scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl with your spatula. And now, so you'll notice I didn't really chop my bacon up very much. And that's because the Thermomix is going to do it for me now anyway. Okay, so remember to put your lid on and it's just going to go for two seconds. Okay, and down the bottom it's saying turn speed to selector to speed four. How long would it take you to chop up the bacon? I know it would take me a lot longer than two seconds, that's for sure. All right, and that's just scrape it down a bit. Let's chop that up quite nicely. You can do it again if you want. Um, there are a couple little big, big bits in there still, but that is totally fine. So clicking next again, transfer into a bowl, which I didn't grab earlier. So just going to pop that into a bowl to set aside and then grab some plain flour. Now I Saw a few of you had um, some allergies there. So you can definitely just substitute your gluten-free flour into this recipe, okay, for people that um, said they were celiac. So I pre-weighed this, hopefully. So I'm just going to pop in my flour. Push next, three teaspoons of baking powder. Um, salt, half a teaspoon. Now, I'm not really much of a, um, I didn't pre-measure that one. I do like to just kind of wing it and throw it in there. 120 grams of unsalted butter. Now, it does specify for it to be um, cold. Now, I did ask Elise this question because she is my chef. So when I have a question, I usually um, race to her and say, why does it need to be straight from the fridge? So um, she did tell me, but she might butt in and let you all know because I've totally forgotten. Um, some cheese. Now you can use whatever cheese you want. I'm just using um, tasty cheese. So if you like to have a stronger flavor, definitely go um, with that, you know, the stronger cheese flavor that you prefer okay and some fresh chives so that's all that just throwing it all in there pushing next insert your measuring cup so the measuring cup in there pop your lid on next again and turn speed selector to speed eight so it just tells you here it's just chopping 
So who can remember what functions we've used so far for the scones? Add 250 grams of milk. Once again, those of you who said you have a milk intolerance, whatever milk it is that you're using at home, you can definitely use in here. Uh, pop in the chat box for those, I know there was a fair few that said they have um, intolerances, allergies with milk. What sort of milk are you using at home? Next again, I'm just gonna add that bacon and I don't have the onion, but the bacon and onion mixture for you guys. Lid on, next again. And this time it's got like the little wheat sign and that means that it is actually kneading our dough. Okay, so the kneading function, we usually say around two minutes of thermomix kneading is equivalent to around 20 minutes of hand kneading. So can you imagine standing there for 20 minutes kneading some dough? Because I really couldn't. And I know most of you probably feel the same because you did say quick and easy, time saving, all that is important to you. So kneading is another one of our functions. Now I'm just gonna transfer it onto a silicon mat. So this is what I was talking about earlier, our bread mats. Okay, these are another one of our host rewards. So for those of you, like Chelsea said earlier, that have jumped on with some guests um, and you'll receive your free black thermo server, you'll still also be able to choose another host reward. One being the amazing um, Thermomix mats. So you can get a two pack of those for $25, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna transfer my dough now onto there. For that you can see all the bacon pieces in there. Delicious. And the cheese, imagine grating that cheese by hand. It took me like three seconds. Top tip for those of you who do have a Thermomix, just to get your dough out, I'm just gonna give that a little twist and it's all just going to fall out there beautifully. Okay, next again. Now, just to get those little extra pieces out, I'm actually gonna use one of our other modes called the Turbo. So I'm just gonna to go to my home screen, swipe across to Turbo. And this is just like our blitz. Okay, so I'm just gonna blitz it for like one second and another second. And that's just going to get all those extra bits of dough or whatever ingredients that you've got in there, a bit of cake, pancake mix, some batter. And it's just going to fling all that off so that we're not wasting it. And then I'm just gently going to flatten that with my hands. Now I'm going to be pretty rustic tonight. I'm not going to worry about using a scone cutter or anything like that because, you know, it's going to take too long. Um, so you can do whatever shape you wish. Okay, I'm going to pat it down. I'm actually going to use the edge of my spatula here as my knife because our silicon mats do have fiberglass particles in them so you can't use knives on them okay and then simply just going to cut like so very rustic okay and then I'm just going to pop those I've got my rose gold tray here with another one of the silicon mats, gonna pop that on there. Now, your um, bread mat can go in the oven as well, but it will discolor, okay? So I just like to use this one on here. And then I am just going to pop those in the oven for, I'm gonna brush them with some milk, pop them in the oven for 15 minutes, and then give them a taste test. I'm not sure who we're crossing to, but. <laughs> so I'm just right, putting them all up me. there, nice and close. That's you? That is me. All right. I'm looking forward to eating some of these. No, I feel like I should have made them as well. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to be making one of the things that I used to absolutely hate making from scratch, and that is hollandaise sauce. Um, so a little bit of a background. I used to be a chef back in the day. And my most hated task as an apprentice was hollandaise because it was the sort of thing that I would have to stand there and whisk 
for at least 20 minutes straight. Um, and this is what I love about my Thermomix. So even though I love to cook and I absolutely can cook, it gives me the ability to do things that I wouldn't have the time to do or the energy to do otherwise. So something like hollandaise sauce, there is no way I would manually do this um, without a Thermomix on a Sunday morning, but it makes it so much easier. So I am going to be using cookie dough, of course, and I've already got this set out in my weekly planner. So I'm going to click into hollandaise sauce and this recipe is going to be using a thickening mode. So one of the beauties of your TM6 is that, as Chelsea said earlier, it does have all those different modes available for you that update as they go. So if I scroll down on here, and I know I'm not super close to the screen, but I'm sure we'll be able to get you a little bit closer shortly. Um, the only thing I need to do with thickening mode is put all of my ingredients in and press start. But it does give me all the information that I need. So all the ingredients, nutritional information, and of course, hints and tips. So we're going to click on start cooking. And I'm going to go in with 10 grams of water. So of course, my scales come up at every point. We're going to go in with 10 to 20 grams of lemon juice. Now you could replace this with vinegar or white wine vinegar if you wanted to. I'm going to go, I'm going to go for the 20. We've got 150 grams of unsalted butter. So straight in, which it just baffles me that I can do something and get the result like this without having to spend 20 minutes standing at the stove. Four egg yolks. Just straight in with those. Uh, one to two teaspoons or pinches, sorry, of salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just going to give a good pack of both in there. And all we're then going to do is pop our lid on our bowl, click on next. And with our modes, it manually works out how long it's going to take. So it actually doesn't set a time. So what this will do is it'll work out the consistency. And once it feels that it's actually thick enough, it can sense that resistance around the blade, it's going to stop. So it's going to be ready for us. So I'm going to turn that on. And I've probably got around 10 minutes or so up my sleeve where I don't need to be stuck in the kitchen and I could be moving on to other things. So I could be toasting my bread, getting my poached eggs ready, all of that sort of stuff. So lots of different things you can do with thickening mode. Some other really good ideas that I love thickening mode for is our um, custard. So if you're a sweet person, if you love your sweets, custard is absolutely amazing. But probably the best thing I think is bechamel sauce. So we all know the pain of standing there whisking. Um, if you're making a lasagna, a lasagna can be something that is super easy and quick for you to do. So lots of different things you can do with the thickening mode. Um, I'm just going to quickly check our run sheet and see who we're moving on to next. So Chelsea, we're coming back to you now. Are you ready to go? That's back to me. Back to you. Awesome. Thank you. Hello again. Um, so I have just finished my delicious OJ mimosa. It's just what I needed. Um, and now we're going to move on to our second dish. So I'm going to be making waffles. So waffles are a Saturday morning ritual in our house. Um, my husband, Mr. Mix and Ariel, is um, usually the waffle maker. Um, so he was asking me before if, if he should have been out here doing this. Um, he thinks he's a funny man. Just realised I need a butterfly this. I have left inside. Um, can you guys just spot me for a sec? I'm so sorry. One sec. That's okay. We can spot you for a second. All right. Let I'm, me. Oh, yep. I can talk. I'm, I'm just put in. I'm just deciding to clean my bowl. That's what I'm using with my spare time. So I've just put a litre of water in my bowl here with a little bit of vinegar because there is that bit of browning on the bottom. And then I'm actually going over, swiping across to pre-clean. So it does wash itself, which is amazing. Um, and then I'm going to turn it all the way around. So I did do a dough. But you've also got universal fat and caramel and browning. And because I do have that browning on the base of it, I am going to select the browning um, mode function. So that's going to take around eight minutes for this one. Um, and then quick little wipe off and it is good to go for the next recipe. Thank you, Tracy. Um, I am so sorry, guys. I'm normally more prepared than this. So I do apologise. Um, I have my butterfly whisk. Um, my husband did say when I went in here he would have had it if it was him doing it. So 
Here we have our waffle recipe. Now you need to ensure that you have your Australian filter turned off in your cookie do. We can show you how to do that a little bit later because this is a UK or a US recipe. So we don't actually have a waffle recipe in Australia, which always baffles me. Um, so we love waffles in our house and my kids, it's their absolute favourite. So preheat your waffle maker. You can score a waffle maker for about $10 from Kmart. We can splurge and get yourself a slightly better one if you wanted to as well. Now we're gonna go in with our butterfly whisk. So you wanna go down on the blades and give it a twist. It should feel a little bit secure. When you go back the other way, it will feel really loose. So you know what's in right when it feels slightly secure. We're gonna go in with three egg whites, which I have separated here. And a teaspoon of sugar. I'm just using raw sugar because that's what I use in all my cooking. Um, you could use white sugar, that is fine. Then we've got two minutes and we're going around to speed four and we're using our whipping function. So I'd love to know, for those of you that have a thermomix, is whipping something that you are doing? For those of you that don't yet have a thermomix, what is something that you would like to whip in your thermomix if you did have one on the bench? What's something that you're whipping at the moment by hand that's taking quite a while that you'd love to be able to just throw in and walk away? Pop it in the chat here with us or over with your consultant and let us know what kind of things you'd love to whip or that you would love to whip if you did have a thermomix on your bench. So it does say whipping until stiff peaks form. So um, like I personally think back to hand whipping and how long I used to spend doing that with a hand beater. And I do absolutely love it. You can do it in just a couple of minutes in your thermo. So I did see someone say pavlova um, in the comments there, which is awesome. Egg whites with chocolate pudding. Love whipping cream in the thermo, so easy. Um, lots of great ones coming in. So there are so many different things you can do with our whipping function. So thinking about your sweet things, like your meringues, your pavs, whipping cream. Um, then we have things like making butter. So you can actually make your own butter in your thermomix, which is amazing. Uh, it does only take a couple of minutes and it is a really much cheaper alternative than buying butter as well, which is awesome. Um, what other things do we use our butterfly whisk for? Anyone else got anything coming in? Chocolate mousse. I think of lots of sweet things when I think of a butterfly whisk. Um, I definitely go to the dessert side of things when I'm thinking about what I do with mine. But you can see that your thermo shakes a little bit, which is really normal. And then this great glide board here, which I did mention before, but I wasn't sure if you could hear me does mean that you can just move your thermomix around with ease, um, but it does also take away a little bit of that shaking, especially with that kneading like you saw with Tracy before. So we have 10 seconds left. Then we are going to pop our meringue or our whipped egg whites into a bowl to the side. Look at that, guys. In just two minutes, we have whipped up a beautiful, fluffy meringue. So for those of you that said saving time was really important to you, like how much time do you think you could save just by doing those little things like that in your thermo? Like look how thick it is. Like, it doesn't even come off the spoon. So we're going to take our butterfly whisk out. I'm just going to pop these in a bowl to the side. Another great recipe where you don't need to wash your bowl in between these steps, which is great. We're just going to get out as much of our egg white as possible. Look at that. It's usually two minutes. Amazing. I've owned a demo mix for nearly 10 years now, and it's funny because when I still do things like this, I'm like, wow, how does it do it? You know, it just never gets old. Now, I want 85 grams of unsalted butter. Dice going in. We're we'll probably going to leave that on. We've got two minutes on 70 degrees and around the speed one. So you see with that guided cooking that um, it is all preset for you. So your time and temperature are set. All you need to do is turn that dial. Now it does actually lock on. So when you want to go to speed one, you can turn that dial as hard as you like and it will lock at one. Um, but now I am able to up it, but that first turn locks on. So you can just literally grab it and spin it and it's going to stop where it needs to be. So they really have thought of everything with our TM6, which is pretty great. My butter is melting away nicely in there. So this is another one of those things before I know Tracy said to you, you know, with those couple of minutes where your thermo is doing the work for you, what would you like to be doing? 
and I saw some really great comments coming in. So this is another one of those. Those were up to four minutes now of hands-free cooking where I could have been doing something else. So, you know, I could be cleaning up the mess around me. I could be sitting down and drinking another orange juice mimosa, um, hanging out with my kids, whatever it is. So, you know, your Thermomix is really there to help you get your time back. Um, which is really amazing because I know we are all so busy these days and I do love that it can do that for us. We've got 45 seconds left. You can take the measuring cup off and have a little look how it's going. It's melting really nicely. What other things do you guys melt in your Thermomix? Pop it in the chat and let us know. So while that's, um, while everyone's popping that into the chat, Chelsea, I thought I would just come on really quickly because the thickening function with the holidays is doing a couple of different things at the moment. Um, let me just kick you off quickly so that it comes over to me. Um, so what your thickening mode will do is you will hear it change. So the speed that it's going at is going to change. It's going to start quite soft and quite low and gentle. And then you're going to find that it really starts buzzing up and it's going to start thickening that. Um, you can hear the change. You probably might not be able to hear it here but it definitely sounds like it's thickened up and it is going up and down in the bowl. So it's really making sure that it's emulsifying that sauce at the same time. So if you were just doing that in a standard sort of blender, not only are you not going to have the heating element to it, but unless you are standing there going like this and constantly turning it, you're not going to get that same consistency. So that's where the thickening mode really does come in handy. All right, back to you, Charles. Awesome. Thank you. I do love that thickening mode. Now we have just melted our butter. So no need to pop it in the microwave and get splatters all over the microwave. We've all been there before, right? And it wants 285 grams of whole milk. Now um, you can definitely use almond milk, coconut milk, skinny milk, all of those milks will work. I have tried a couple of different ones. So 285 grams on our scales there. And then we want 225 grams of plain flour. making sure my scales are teared down, 225. I've got a little bit over 237, but that is fine. If you've seen this before, you know I'm a near enough, is good enough kind of person. A teaspoon of baking powder. I've got these beautiful rose gold measuring spoons from our meat shop. You can go on and grab yourself some really fun accessories if you don't already have some. And then a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm not putting as much in as it looks like. It's very slowly to come out tonight. And again, I'm not much of a measurer. A teaspoon of vanilla. Sorry, I keep leaning in front of the camera. My ingredients are on the wrong side. And then three egg yolks from the eggs that we used before. So we are using the whole egg, just to go the stages. And to spin that one around for 10 seconds on speed five. Now fold our egg whites into batter with our spatula and then cook waffles according to the waffle maker in instructions. So I'm just going to very quickly turn my thermo off because I am on PowerPoint rations here. I have this new fabulous space to cook in and it's awesome, but it's just not quite done yet. And I need um, a couple of extra PowerPoints. So I'm just going to steal my power and heat up my waffle maker. And I'll show you guys the waffle maker that I use in just a moment. That is just preheating. So we have our batter, look at that. It is smooth and perfectly whipped. And then we're just going to pop our egg whites in. We're gonna fold them. So when you're folding, you don't wanna to be too rough because we want to keep that um, fluffy consistency from our meringue there. So just give it a stir through. And that's going to give them a really light, fluffy consistency, which is awesome. Does anybody make waffles? Pop it in the chat and let me know. Or is anybody currently buying waffles? Love to swap to making their own. So I know they can be quite expensive. Now I've got some chop chip lovers in my family. So we're just going to load this up with some chop chips. Don't be shy. Use white chocolate, caramel, whatever it is. Just going to give them a little bit of a stir through as well. 
Now I've got this um, Sunbeam waffle maker. So we've been through a couple of different waffle makers um, recently. So we did have like the, the cheap $10 came out one. It was quite good, um, but after a while it just wasn't very good anymore. And I did found, find that it made them quite soft um, and steamy. Then we tried another one, but it had really small holes and it just didn't have that real like waffle, you know, kind of feel to it. So this Sunbeam one, it was, I think it was about $130. So it was a little bit more expensive, but for us who eat waffles every weekend, I thought it was good investment. So you can choose your um, light and fluffy or dark and crispy, which is great. And it actually cooks them standing up, which is a little bit weird, um, but it is still just preheating slightly. So you get, you get this little measuring cup and we're just going to fill that one up. And then I'm just going to pour that in. I'm going to set it to the consistency or the, the kind of level of cook that I want. And I'm a mid range. So we like them a little bit dark and crispy, but not too much. I'm going to pour that in and then it'll tell me if it's going to have three or four minutes. Um, and then it'll be for me when it's ready. And then you just pop that open and away you go. So I'm going to cook up some waffles and you guys are going to see me in a little bit with my finished results. So I'll see you guys soon. Amazing. I really didn't think that I would come on tonight needing a new waffle maker, but thank you very much. Now I need to buy a new waffle maker. I feel like I should, uh, like, I should, you know, be getting shares in Sunbeam. Like, <laughs> I promise not, but I'd love, like, if you do like waffles, treat yourself. It'll be worth it. I love that. All right. So my Holland Days has finished now and I had a little sneaky peek before and it's always that moment of just joy when you do a recipe like this. And I know that I'm not in the shot now, but um, when you do a recipe like this, and, you know, is a technically complicated recipe, but look at that hollandaise. That is absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to pop this into a thermo jug to keep nice and warm. Um, I could easily just leave it in the bowl, but you know, I'm just going to show it. Um, so it is nice and thick. I better actually open the jug first, otherwise it's not going to do very well. Um, and I'm going to pour it into here. So these you can get on the mix shop and they're almost, well, they're essentially a jug version of our standard demo servers. So, Keeping gravy, sauces, custards, hollandaise, things like that hot is absolutely awesome with these. And hollandaise is the sort of thing that does need to be made at the time. You really don't want to be making this, you know, the night before and trying to use it. Um, you do actually want it to stay at temperature. So that's going to stay at temperature while I do my poached egg. Now, I would love to know who is making poached eggs in their Thermomix or if you don't have a Thermomix yet, who makes them at home? Let me know in the chat. Um, so we're going to be using the blade cover peeler tonight. Now, I already have it in the bowl because I've got my water preheated, so I can't actually pop my hands in there and show you that. Um, I'm sure one of the girls probably has one on hand that they can show afterwards. But this has been heating up, um, and it's basically just heated our water to 95 degrees. So what we're going to do with our poached eggs, we're using the blade cover, and we're going to use two at a time, but I thought I'd show you a little trick to really help. Now, with your poached egg, you do want it to be the fresher the eggs, the better. Okay, if they don't work, it's usually to do with the freshness of your eggs. Um, but I've got a fine mesh strainer and I'm actually going to pour my egg into that strainer. And what's gonna happen is, these are really fresh eggs. <laughs> Go woolly. So if there was any of that, you know when you separate an egg or you, you crack an egg and you've got that extra white that kind of separates off, that would kind of drip down. So it means that we shouldn't have really um, overly runny eggs and those big tails on the eggs. So I'm just going to do that to both and just see if there's any egg white that's dripping down. Nope, excellent. All right. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got this water a little bit hotter. So I'm just going to go back for one second and crank that up a little bit. So you do want your um, water to be at about 95 degrees or so. So it's not going to be boiling. You're not going to have a rapid boil happening with your eggs. Um, but just to kind of keep that temperature running. So it's just dropped a little bit while I was talking there, but that is okay. So I've already, I made some sourdough the other day. Um, so I've already toasted that. I've got that ready. I've got my hollandaise ready. And if you're doing a breakfast, you can be really organized and just be able to kind of throw these on. If you've got everything prepped and ready, easy done. All right. So we're going to go next and I'm going to come over to this section. Um, so we're going to go for three minutes. Now, what I actually like to do, though, is the recipe does tell me to pop the eggs in through the hole in the lid. Um, but I personally prefer to take the lid off, drop my eggs in really quickly, and then start that going. So I'm just going to wait for that to release in one second. 
All right. So I am going to work super quickly here and I'm going to drop my eggs in. The closer, the better. And we're going to go on. So on for three minutes at 100 degrees reverse speed 0.5. Um, and we're going to let them do its thing. So without the measuring cup, and I have two beautiful eggs poaching in there. So while they're going, because I do want to be able to kind of come back as soon as we're ready, um, I'm just going to take you through a little bit more of the flip chart and we're going to have a look at some of the other functions that the Thermomix can do. So we're not going through all of these tonight, but just to give you a little bit of an overview, this is not even all of, but uh, most of the functions that the Thermomix can do. So it is designed to be able to replace around 20 different appliances. So we have everything from our emulsifying, which you've seen with the hollandaise sauce tonight, caramelizing. So I'd love you to pop in the comments what you can think of that you could caramelize, but it can be anything from caramelized onions to salted caramel sauce or honeycomb. Um, because your tea and stick can go up to 160 degrees, you do have the ability to do those beautiful caramels um, and sugar work. Tracy showed you our kneading, but all of your doughs, so bread dough, pasta dough, pizza dough, cookie dough, uh, Play-Doh, things like that can all be done in a, with a breeze. Um, our grinding and our um, milling, so things like your coffee beans, sugar, spices, things like that. Um, of course, you've seen the cooking in action, so just being able to cook. Um, so it might be whether you're doing a bolognese sauce or a stew or a curry or a risotto, something like that, to be able to not have your, um, yourself stuck in the kitchen the entire time and let your Thermomix do all that hard work for you is a massive game changer. We've spoken about our whipping, uh, but mincing might be one that you haven't really spoken about tonight. So I'd love you to have a think of what you might be able to mince. Something that comes to mind for me is mince meat. So if you want to know exactly what's in your meat, being able to mince that yourself um, means that you're not going to have any extra preservatives that may be in there, or it might just be that you know exactly how much fat to um, meat ratio is in your mince. Now our steaming, as we mentioned before, we're not using our Varoma tonight, but that is included. So if you're wanting to see that in action, definitely book in with a, for a demo with your consultant and we can go through that in a bit more detail. But being able to utilize our layered cooking. So essentially having something cooking in the bowl, something in your basket, and then utilizing both different layers of the Varoma means that you could do an all-in-one meal. We've also got our weighing, which you've seen, our grating, so things like carrots, cheese, zucchini, uh, whatever that may be. Um, and of course, things like our mixing. So you saw that with the waffle mix earlier, but whether it's waffles, cake batters, um, pancakes, anything like that. Now we have about 15 seconds left on our eggs. It's amazing how quickly three minutes goes when you are talking. Um, and it just shows how quickly you can kind of get a few things done. So I'm going to clean up a little bit around here. And we're going to get ready to go. So I've just got a plate with some paper towel on there. And let's have a look at our eggs. So I'm gonna gently lift them out. All right, so I'm just gonna have a quick feel. Now I may have got one right on that center of the blade there, but that's okay. <laughs> so I've got one that's a little bit sad and one that is beautiful. So I'm going to, pop them onto my toast oh, and they're really rather hot okay <laughs> so there are our poached eggs and now I am just going to get a spoon because your hollandaise is actually designed to kind of set so it is going to thicken as it sets um, so just give it a really quick stir if you find it's too thick you can easily um, add a little bit of warm water to it please don't use cold or hot water but there is our eggs with hollandaise sauce done in less than a few minutes. So, of course, it wouldn't be an egg benedict without or a poached egg without the, um, the egg cut, would it? So let me grab our knife out and let's go through this. How good is that? Doesn't get much better than a perfectly soft poached egg. Um, so that is it for me with the poached eggs. Um, I'm just going to double check who we're heading back over to. So we're going to go over to Tracy um, and Tracy's going to take us through cookie dough. Chelsea, do you want to come back with a waffle quickly or? Yeah, do you want to jump back over to me? Yep. 
So we have our beautiful chop chip waffle here. You can see those yummy chop chips have melted through. Now this waffle maker does kind of split it into four few, so I was able to just rip it apart. I've got some fresh strawberries. Some maple syrup. Now make sure you use the pure maple syrup, not the maple flavoured syrup. Not the same. Um, what other toppings would you like to pop on there? Comment in the chat and let us know. You know, I've got, I went champagne first this time. Look, there's a bubble. Ice cream, yeah, nice. You could make some fresh yogurt using the fermentation function. On your camo. Made a mess with my OJ. <laughs> and there we go. We have our beautiful cafe style waffles. Another mimosa, and away we go. I've got another waffle cooking, so you just keep them coming. And now something like that's going to set you back, you know, twenty dollars in a cafe. Pop a bit of ice cream on there. Um, sprinkle some nuts. Amazing. Uh, all right, over to you, Tracy, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. All right, first of all, I'm just going to show you my scones because they are done now. So delicious. I've already had um, kids stealing them. So I did try and cut it one way, but she sort of said it looked funny. So I'd probably slice it in half and put my butter in there like that. But very delicious. So these would be a great um, in lunch boxes as well. If you're looking for something different in the kids' lunch boxes, uh, as opposed to normally I do uh, cheese and bacon rolls. So just something a little bit different there. Okay, cookie do. So Chelsea did explain a little bit about cookie do um, at the beginning. So it is over eighty thousand recipes worldwide uh, in cookie do, and there's always more being created and popped on there as well. Now it is a subscription service, okay? So when you um, receive your Thermomix, you'll be gifted six months for free to really have a think, have a look at all the recipes, see what you think, um, using your meal plan that we spoke about. And you can also generate um, an ingredients list, a shopping list, which I'm going to show you too. So currently until, how many more days we got left? Can someone direct nine, but four days. Uh, when you purchase your Thermomix, instead of just the six months included, you're actually going to get 18 months free of a Cookie Do subscription, which is absolutely amazing. So have a think about that. Um, and then after that, it is $69 a year. Now, this gives you access to all of those 80,000 worldwide recipes. Okay, some of them are in different languages, which you can actually use Google um, Translate for those if you're wanting to not just have English ones. I'm not sure why there are plenty of English recipes there. Um, so yeah, and all of the cookbooks as well. Okay, it also gives you access to being able to meal plan and generating your shopping list and things like that. Okay, so I am just going to share my screen and take you over to Cookie Do quickly. Um, uh, sorry, my thing's in the way there. All right, so here is our cookie do screen. Now your screen will look the same no matter what you're on. If you're on your, um, whatever device you're on, if you're on your Thermomix, okay, it all looks the same. So your main page here, a few technical issues for me now. All right, so it always says, hello, welcome. Okay, you've got your main screen, which is going to, show you uh, the latest recipes. So all those new recipes that have popped, popped onto Cookie Do. Okay, keep scrolling. It gives you some information on your new access, uh, sorry, your modes. Okay, access to the modes on Cookie Do 3.0, which is a whole nother ball game that I'm not gonna get into tonight. Um, but your consultant will be more than happy to explain all of that. Has a recipe in Spotlight, some winter saving favorites, just lots of different inspiration, you know, something that you may not have found on Cookie Do before. It's just going to give you something new to think about. All right. So now I would love someone to pop in the chat box for me to search up a favorite 
recipe that you either love to cook yourself or something that you love to order when you go out because you find that it might be a little bit too hard um, at home. A curry, thanks, Em. So if I just type in curry, I'm going to actually get 436 results. Okay, is that enough choice for you? It also includes your um, tangerine paste, the ticker paste, all of that. So everyone that said, you know, the preservatives and, preservatives and additives were very important to you. Being able, what does being able to make your own curry paste mean to you? Knowing what is in your food, how would that make you feel? All of Because I know there were so many people that wrote um, that you have so many different intolerances. So being able to know exactly what's in your food, let me know how that would make you feel. So I'm just going to choose, um, what have we got here? Um, let's just go with this curry lamb soup in the TM6. Yellow chicken curry, naan bread. You always need the bread to go with it. So here we've got cook today or I can click on add. Okay, it's saying I can add it to a collection. So you can design your own collection. So things like um, your dinners, your breakfast, drinks, desserts, all of that kind of thing. So it's all in the one place, easy to search or I can add it straight to my list. So I'm gonna say we're gonna have that tomorrow night. Let me get rid of my chat box, save that. Now, was there another recipe on there as well? Maybe a dessert, a favorite dessert. If the recipe says TM6, yes. So the TM6 only recipes can only be done in the TM6 because it's using the modes that the other machines don't have. Okay, so whether it be the high heat function, um, the fermentation function, things like that, okay? But a TM6 can do any of the 31 or the five recipes. Tiramisu, all right. If I can spell. All right, here we go. So tiramisu gives us 11 results. Now you'll see that these pictures are the same. Looks like it's the same recipe. That is because I have uh, my filters with UK, US and Australia. So it's just probably some of them are going to be in ounces and Fahrenheit as opposed to grams, okay? So let's click on one of those. Again, I'm going to add it to my week. And I'm also gonna add it to my shopping list, which you'll notice is here. Oops. Hang on a second. Add to my shopping list. Now, when I go up to my week, or like I showed you earlier, clicking on the three lines on my Thermomix is going to bring up my week. So over here, I've got my scones in there. My tiramisu has somewhere disappeared. I've got the curry. And then over on, over on the right-hand side, I've got my shopping list. So I'm just going to remove the ones I already had there. So it has just taken all of those ingredients from my meal plan and automatically popped them over there for me, okay? So I'm then going to click on show ingredients. Now this comes in really handy. Um, so I am not as organized as Chelsea. I don't meal plan every week. Let me know in the chat box. Are you a Chelsea of meal planning? Or are you a Tracy and Elise who do not meal plan? We like to plan in different uh, other ways to Chelsea, but she is a very good meal planner. So sometimes I may be at the supermarket and thinking, what am I going to have for tea? And I will just pop in chicken. Um, I'll find a recipe. I'll add it to the shopping list. And then directly on my phone, I have all of those ingredients there ready to go. So we've got lots of meal planners. Need to meal plan. I'm a trace. I try and be, I try and be a little bit, you know, Every now and then I try hard. Chelsea, you know, tries to encourage me. Um, so then from here, this is what comes up on my phone. You can also print it out if you prefer. And I know I've got baking powder and brown sugar at home. So I'm just going to tick those off. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go the next step, you can actually, actually order your ingredients. Okay. So this is also what Chelsea does. She doesn't like to go to the supermarket. So she will sit there, plan that transfer it over, click on order ingredients, and that is going to take you straight over to the Woolworth site. And it's going to bring the ingredients up for you. Now, if you don't like the particular brand, simple, you just click on swap, 
and you're going to swap it out. Okay, so just swap that out. All right, nice and easy to do. From there, just going to go into the Woolies app. It's going to take it all over. Then you can pop in all your different items, you know, your toilet paper, your toothpaste, all of that, and simply just click on get it delivered to your house or um, click and collect. Okay. Now, I don't know how much time we've got, but there is so much in Cookie Do. Your consultant will love to show you how. We also do some Cookie Do classes because there's also filters where you can filter off. So those of you that were gluten free, you know, we can easily search for you. We can pop in here and we can just say gluten free in the search bar. We'll say, um, where is it? Sorry, it's meant to be in the um, other bit, but this will work. Type in gluten free. It's got me 57 results there, okay, of gluten free um, items, vegetarian, all of that. So filters is a whole nother concept. You can search via um breakfast, lunches, dinners, all of that kind of thing. So amazing. Now, does anyone have any questions about cookie do? I could stand here forever talking about it, but um, I know our time is precious tonight. Uh, I li literally wing every aspect of my life, but I love to meal plan. Now that is exactly her, whereas um, Elise and I just wing our meal planning. Sorry, Elise, dobbing you in there. Unless, of course, you've changed and you're now meal planning. I think I can do like two or three days. Uh, max, max five days, but I can't, yeah, no more than that. Um, I didn't realise we could do that. Uh, what was that one? Do you think Coles will ever join? So the, um, the what's it called? The company that we use is called Whisk. So it's actually who they use and currently they only in Australia, they only have Woolies. So I think they might be worldwide, do you know, Elise? Um, so there, there could possibly be other things, but in Australia, it is currently just um, Woolies. So we are hoping that it does um, have other, you know, coals and that jump on board soon though. I also despise going to the supermarket. So meal planning and online shopping <laughs> is my saviour, yeah. I am also a saviour, just saying. Um, we, we can probably also share about my foodie box, Tracy. something that's coming soon. Oh, yes. All right, so pop in the chat box as well. Um, is, does anyone like to use HelloFresh or have you used HelloFresh? Let me know. Let's wait for some answers to come. Yes. All right, so something amazing that is coming um is currently in perth they are trialing it but it's called my foodie box so it's essentially just like whoops um essentially just like hello fresh okay you got your box but it's for your thermomix so you choose your recipes pop it into your week bam there it is you've got all your ingredients just like hello fresh except you can then use your thermomix without having to try and translate it into thermomix terms so we are super excited and can't wait for it to um, come to melbourne it's going to be an absolute game changer for those of you who um love that kind of thing and i'll you know and i will have to test it out obviously so it should be good awesome all right so this is due hopefully by the end of the year so don't get too excited yet it is coming uh, but it is still a work in process um so I'm just going to finish off basically with a little bit of afflict chart just to cover off a couple of things for those that might uh, be interested in having a little bit more of a look. So if you were the host tonight, thank you so much for coming along and thank you for bringing your two guests with you. For hosting tonight, you've got yourself a free Black Thermo server plus your choice of our other host awards. So if you aren't aware, um, that Black Thermo server is finished finishing up at the end of July. So if you are wanting to host, uh, make sure you check in with your consultant and book in a time if you weren't the host tonight. Um, but we have everything from our blade cover peeler and I've just washed it. So this is that blade cover peeler I was using with the eggs. Um, we have everything from this to our thermo mats to different size thermo servers. So definitely host a demo. All you need is two to three people and your consultant can hook you up either virtually or in person and we can help you get a little bit more out of your thermo mix. Or if you're looking at investing for you for the first time, um, we can help you to learn a little bit more if you still use, if you feel you still need that. 
going to try and speak. Um, all right. So what do you actually get when you purchase your Thermomix? So obviously we love to support our customers. We are here for these sorts of things. Um, our role is to inspire you, ensure that you are getting the most out of your Thermomix. So the beauty of buying directly through a consultant is that you have a consultant in your pocket. If you find you have a question on something, um, you can call us. We are here to help you. So your Thermomix will be delivered to you. We'll then unpack it with you and get you all set up. And then of course you have us as you need. So everyone's journey is very different, um, but we do have these classes available for you. All right, so I would love to know from what you've seen tonight, what have you learned? So if you're an owner, what have you learned? Um, and if you're, you're here for the first time and seeing the Thermomix for the first time, what's appealed to you about it? So thinking back to what we said at the start of the demo was most important to you, whether that was saving time, saving uh, money, working on your health or saving energy like me, um, making things a little bit easier. What has appealed to you about the Thermomix so far? Now I am just going to go through the payment options just so everybody knows how you can get a Thermomix on your bench. So we essentially have four different payment options. I know there's three written here, um, but we have the option to join the team. So do what we do, share your love of Thermomix with people. Um, and when you join the team, you do have the ability to earn a Thermomix. So if that is something that you are interested in, please stay on at the end. Um, about three or four minutes after we finish up this class, we are going to run into a business information session. So while you're here, you can get all of that info. Um, so we have the option of earning your Thermomix, but then we also have our different payment plans. So our main payment plan that we tend to find people go for is our zip money. Now this is 24 months interest-free finance with zip and it works out to 24.56 a week. So if you think about the sort of things that you could be saving, um, so you could be making that you could be saving money on, we find most of our owners save around $60 a week if you're making the basics from scratch. Now that was pre all the prices going up. So I'm sure it is a lot more now. So think about things like your yogurts, your school snacks, pasta sauces. It might be um, breads, doughs. Um, I know a lot of people are even making dog treats, things like that. So loads of different things that you can do to save some money. Um, so we definitely find that your Thermomix is an investment and you will definitely save back more than you invested. But we also have a few different payment options. Uh, we also have Afterpay and we have something called Easy3. So Easy3 is three payments over three months. Now, you don't have to wait three months to get your machine. That would just be cruel. Um, but it is basically $1,009 as your first installment and then 30 days later, 700 30 days later, 700 um, So that just breaks it down that little bit if the last payment option, which is the outright payment, isn't for you. Now, you've seen us use a few different things tonight um, and we pretty much have everything you can think of except for Chelsea's waffle maker. So I feel like we need to have a chat to the guys at the mix shop um, and get that onto the mix shop for us. Um, but if you haven't already been through the mix shop, definitely jump on. Think of it like Kmart for a Thermomix, right? There are so many different things on there that are really complementary to using your machine. Um, so everything from our rose gold bakeware to our pizza ovens to your bread baking mats, everything is there. So that is pretty much it for tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have learned something if you're already an owner and if you come to see what it's all about, hopefully we have inspired you to look at a Thermomix on, um, on your own bench and see how it might be able to help you with your family. Um, yes, anything from the mix shop is absolutely safe to use. So brushes are totally fine. Um, Trace, what have you got there? So you've got the peeler. You're muted. I just saw someone, I just scrolled up through the chat and I did see someone ask if you need the blade cover to do poached eggs. So I forgot to show that, but if you want to talk about whether you need it or not. Look, you can do it in your simmering basket, um, but I have found that you're not going to get results that are quite as good. So it's not quite the same. Um, all right. So Chelsea, is there anything else that you want to add? Not really. Um, my waffles, I may, I may or may not have eaten the waffles that <laughs> I need. Um, but I have got three big beautiful waffles here, plus the one that I've eaten and another one cooking in there. So that is what they look like to come out. Um, so really big, super filling, definitely enough to feed a family there. They're massive. Massive. So I'm going to pop mm. these into the freezer. So these freeze really well. Um, and then I just, just put them in the toaster. So just like a toaster waffle on Saturday morning, nice and easy. Maybe we don't actually have to make them. Um, 
But yeah, as Elise said, we will be running a business info session. So if you did want to find out a little bit more about doing what we do, joining our amazing teams, um, or if you would like to find out about the possibility of earning a Thermomix, please stick around. But we would love to give you the information. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't already had a chat to your consultant, please reach out to them. We will do some follow-up to get your feedback on everything. Um, but if you are the host tonight, please make sure you, in touch, you are in touch with your consultant so that they can organise your host awards and do all the follow-up from there. Thank you so much. And if you're wanting to stay on for the business information session, we will see you back here at 8.50. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.